Yo guys, today we will talk a bit about damage multipliers and how they work, as I've seen a bit of confusion regarding them. We will look at the nameless sword right now. Effect 2 grants 80% damage, effect 3 grants 100% damage. Now some people are inclined to think this manual grants 180% total damage. However, this is not correct. This is under the assumption that these damage multipliers are additive. They are multiplicative, however. As such, the calculation would be 1.8 times 2, which is 3.6. So, all in all, this weapon has a multiplier of times 3.6, which is 260% increased damage. As such, 80% more damage than you'd think. Another example is the Flaming Blade. Effect 1 grants 120% damage, Effect 2 grants as well 120% damage. So you are inclined to think it would be 240% damage total. However, they are multiplicative once more. As such, you end up with 384% damage. Now, this is really impactful as otherwise if we look at just the sword manuals, you'd think Illusion Sword with its 200% damage is stronger than a Nameless Sword. However, as I've shown you, this is not the case. Now, what's the strongest manual currently in the game? It's Spring and Autumn Fan. It has a Effect 2, which grants 100% damage, and then Effect 3 is divided into two separate effects each granting 60% damage. In total, this is a 412% increased damage effect. As such, a 5.12 times multiplier on your damage when using this manual. Besides manuals, traits also work in this regard. For example, you have Reincarnated Monk, which grants 50% damage at 100 benevolence. Enlightened Monk, also grants 50% damage and 100 benevolence. You may think they are 100% increased total damage, however they are multiplicative. As such, with these two traits and being at 100 benevolence grants you 125% increased damage. The same applies to Lone Wanderer as well. Essentially, any damage multiplier in the game is multiplicative with other damage multipliers. This is extremely good for us in terms of offensive output, but of course bad in terms of damage reduction. As damage multipliers are multiplicative, damage reduction is also multiplicative. So you may think that if you take the Mountain Node Resilient, which grants 1.5% damage reduction per point of constitution, and you have the Hardy Trait, which grants 1% damage reduction per point of constitution. As such, if they were additive 2.5% damage reduction per point of constitution, at 40 constitution you would be invincible. However, once more, they are multiplicative, and multiplicative multipliers can never reach zero. Damage multipliers being multiplicative is also the reason why we take all of them. Why you absolutely want Reincarnated Monk, Enlightened Monk, Lone Wanderer. They alone grunt so much damage and can further be enhanced with different shrine modifiers such as this damage increase. Now another great option to showcase damage multipliers is Xuan Yun. You can see it has three different modifiers, one correlating to benevolence, one to wisdom, one to righteousness. Each in total would grant 20% increased damage. As such, you are inclined to think 60%. However, they are multiplicative. Though there is a coding error in the game, and each of these effects can only stack up to 18% damage, so it's 1.18 to the power of 3, which is 64.3% increased damage. And that's why Shion Yun is absolutely incredible. I hope you've learned something in this video. Share, like and subscribe if you want to see more.